right, this is Bob from Virginia Cage Fighting Championships. Can you tell me your name and where you're from? Deep Venable from Martinsville, Virginia, hometown. Um, right. Deep Venable. All right, and <clears throat> you're going to be fighting at Martinsville Mayhem 3 on October the 20th. You're fighting in a title eliminator bout versus Nick Gillisclair, the Raging Cajun. Um, what kind of things you've been doing to prepare for this fight? Just um, working well rounded, you know, working on wrestling, working on striking, of course, and eating right, trying to stay around 140, 138. So I ain't got much weight to cut, and so it can be an easy fight week for me. And um, I'm just, just, just doing everything I can, really. I'm just ready. I'm ready to fight today if I could. So, I'm All right. Safe. Tell me a little bit about where you're training and um, what type of stuff you're doing there. Right now, um, Martinsville Extreme Martial Arts in my hometown with Ryan Ferguson. I go there. Um, work. I go there mainly for wrestling. He's a great coach. He knows a lot about wrestling techniques. And then I train in record tactical. That's in Bassett, Virginia. And that's where I do my own training, really. You know, lifting weights, you know, punching the bag a little bit, you know, sparring with some pro fighters and... I cross train a lot. Um, Marcus Luck, I'll be going there to work on my striking zone and um, anywhere really. I just like to I like to learn new things. Every coach is different, so you know, rock bottom. I plan to go there next week with Joe Mo Lucas um, and just work, just just prepare for this fight. All right, your opponent is the Raging Cajun. <clears throat> He's fought a lot in my shows, so you kind of have an idea of what his style is. Do you have any specific game plan for him? Um, my game plan is whatever he want his game plan to be. If he want to go in there and strike, I'm, comf I'm comfortable with that. If he want to go in there and wrestle, I'm comfortable with that. I stay patient and wait for his mistake and submit him. And um, But I'm pretty sure he's going to go to the ground, and I'm ready for that. Um, I'm comfortable with that, and he will get submitted. Um, it might, it might go in his favor for a while, but I will stay patient, do what I have to do, and wait for my moment. So I'm ready for any aspect of the game, wrestling, kicking, punching, elbowing. I'm ready for whatever. All right, and what got you into fighting and made you want to be a fighter? You've had a few fights now. What, you know, Tell me a little um, bit about that. I started off, and I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. I started off, and I wasn't really serious about it. You know, I won't. I, I suck pretty much, put it like that. And then I just, something just... Something gave me the strive. I don't know. Um, I was just, I'm crazy. I got anger problems sometimes. So fighting is what keeps me sane. It's like, besides doing drugs and besides doing crazy stuff, fighting is what I go to. And I want to fight and I felt good. I like the hype after you win. And I just want to continue. To, I just decided to continue to fight, continue to keep that hype going and, and win and chase titles and eventually go pro and make money and go from there, man. I love to fight. I love fighting. I think about it day and night. Like I said, I wish I could fight right now. So I just, I just, you know, I like to fight. I love it. I love it. I love Tell it. me a little bit about what it means fighting in your hometown. Man, shout out to Bob for letting this, making this happen, first of all. And it feels amazing. A lot of family is so, so happy that I'm fighting in my hometown. I never thought I would fight in my hometown. I know you had previous shows here in Martinsville, but I, I never thought that it would be I never, I, it was a dream come true. I know I'm an amateur and ain't that big of a deal, but to me it's a very big of a deal to be fighting in the title elimination bout in my hometown. That's going to that's gonna make me push harder. It's going to make me go harder, and it's going to make me put on a great show. And it feels amazing, and I'm so ready. And I'm just ready for the house to be sold out, and everybody come out to it, man. Martinsville, Virginia, middle school, you know where that's at. Small town, but everybody know where Martinsville is, though. Everybody <laughs> heard of it, so... All right, anything else you want to say to the fans out there? October the 20th, you'll be taking on Raging Cajun. Nick, I'm scared. Um, I didn't want to say um, good luck to my opponent. Um, stay healthy while you're out there training. I, I want this fight to happen, so just stay healthy, train smart, but train hard at the same time. Um, to all my fans, just keep supporting me. Um, I, I'm only going up from here, so you stay behind me. Yeah, it'll be worth it. And just shout-out to everybody that's going to help prepare me for this fight. Shout-out to Britton Hart for, you know, Making me, you know, just she know what she's doing to making me keep going hard. Shout out to my son for making me, he, he's making me go hard. And just shout out to all my family. And again, come out October 20th and, and get ready. Just be ready because it's going to be a great show. Bob fighting on that show. So Samuel, Samuel Warren, I think, is fighting. It's going to be a great card, man. And I'm fighting in my hometown. So just make sure you come out and just thank you in advance. Get your tickets and let's get it going. All right, I appreciate it, buddy. Oh, yeah. October the 20th, we'll see you there. All righty, let's get it.